There is a substantial risk of loss associated with trading forex, binary options, stocks, or equities, collectively, asset classes. Only risk capital should be used for trading. Trading in any asset classes is not appropriate for everyone. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. No representation is being made that investors will make profits or will not sustain losses. Before trading in any asset classes, investors should consult with their professional broker, financial advisor, or financial consultant to determine whether trading asset classes is appropriate. Investors who trade in any asset classes should only do so if the capital used for this purpose represents funds that an investor can afford to lose without adversely impacting the investor's lifestyle. No trading strategy or methodology is without risk of loss. No trading strategy is risk-free and no trading strategy can guarantee profits or freedom from losses. Investors risk losing the cost to execute any transaction, including associated commissions or fees. You should carefully consider whether trading in any asset class is appropriate for you in light of your investment experience and financial resources. Any trading decisions you make are solely your responsibility and at your own risk. None of the statements or materials in the Ovoria Prime chat rooms constitute a solicitation or recommendation to buy or sell. Awesome. Welcome all to the call. First off, I see everybody chatting in the box. And Sam, uh, great question. And you know what? I'm going to tell you the same thing I tell everybody. That is the one setting in Gearbox that I always leave at 20. I don't play with it. Um, how it decides to use it is the lower the moving average, the more likely it is to hedge. Um, you know, it's really simple. The higher the moving average, typically, the you know, at least leaving it 20 wise, uh, the better the entry. Uh, so the lower, the less accurate the entry, in my opinion, just like changing the time frame. Um, so that's. Uh, um, Jog, I don't believe that is possible, but I'll play with it. Um, you know. The way the manager works is any chart open, it's going to overwrite. Um, you know, so I'm not sure if there's a way to ignore that. And the reason I say that is because we don't know what chart you might have the MyFX book EA on. It's based on currency pairs. So if we program it to where if you put the MyFX book EA on gold, it doesn't overwrite it. Okay, well, if somebody puts it on silver, it's going to still overwrite it, right? Um, as we don't know what EA is on the chart, we only know what pair we're applying to. Um, if that makes sense. So, you know, um, yeah, we could modify it to only work in this specific. Again, you know, there's a lot of um, possibilities and changes and how those things can work. Um, I, again, I'll have to play with it all and check ideas. I'm not sure exactly how we do it right now, but I'll, I'll bring it up to my programmer and play around with it. But Let's get into it. Let's talk about precision mode. Let's talk about the week. Let's talk about what's happened. Um, ignore that account. Uh, oops, I gotta log in here. Let's take a look at some one pair data and see how the week has looked so far. And uh, we can see that this week Euro NZD and USD CAD have been making some profits. Uh, we can see that this week I'm up 3.79% uh, on my one pair accounts. Uh, absolutely awesome. Um, always tracking the data to see what's the best performing, what are the least performing, which ones get in higher drawdown. Again, remember anytime something gets over 25% drawdown, we increase the entry on it. If it gets in 50%, we increase the entry twice. If it ever reaches 60% drawdown on a little $500 account, uh, we put it into the worst performing pairs category. Um, that is how we decide data and we've used this data since the beginning of time. So again, we are here looking at all the wood pair data. And, you know, um, something I love to bring up and mention is, yeah, even though you see GBP AUD was one of the better performers, um, you know, the reason we scanned so many pairs is because there was a period where GBP AUD didn't take a trade from March 29th, so basically April, all the way until September. So imagine going April, May, June, July, August, five months without a trade on GBP AUD, and all of a sudden it pops out and takes the account from 64% to 97%, right? Um, so this is why we scan all the pairs on an account. Um, obviously, this is one pair data accounts that we're using for data purposes. But again, this is why we scan all the pairs on a trading account, because if you were only running the best performers, 
chances are there's many times where you're not in any trades. Weeks go by without a trade, and you don't want that. As well, we started playing um, with some million dollar balances. I, uh, I currently run the million dollar accounts on a demo first and then copy them over to a live account since I am playing with live millions of dollars. Uh, but we'll just show you my FX book on the moderate account here. And uh, you can see right now on a million dollar account playing around uh, right now, we have won 89% of the trades, taken nine trades so far. We're up $28,000, aka 2.84%. Less than five percent drawdown so far. Playing with a billion dollar account. Um, so again, we're going to keep playing with large accounts. I have three billion dollar live accounts that are getting linked up, and we'll be copying these demo accounts. Um, so we are starting to play with some big boy buddy with the gearbox algorithm. A lot of big things on the way. That is for sure. Um, you know. So and we can we can talk about all of that. Let me. Um, Stop streaming for a minute. Or not stop streaming. Let me uh, take away my screen here and I'll be right back. All righty. So we can go ahead and also look at all the one pair accounts. We're going to see if any of them are in any trades. We are going to go ahead and uh, connect to all by VPSs. And we're going to scroll through every single one of them and talk about each pair individually. Talk about this week. What's going on. I'm just connecting to some VPSs here as you guys see. Watch me connect to a million and one VPSs. Don't mind me as we get these all connected and going here for us. We are now connected to about eight remote computers. Let's start scrolling. All righty. We'll start here with Cloud Trader 1. So first thing you can see is GBPCHF did not get any trades. We are on a ghost cell level three. All right. So nothing on GBPCHF, nothing in that pair. All right. Over here, we are in an NZD CAD buy. <gasps> And uh, that is a great buy, in my opinion. I would probably take a small manual trade on a different account, not my Gearbox account, but you know, if you're a manual trader, uh, you can see we are in NZD CAD here, and we are in a buy. Going along, we can see CAD JPY has no open trades. Got nothing happening there. Over here, balance protection has been hit. CHF JPY. Um, this account has nine dollars in it, so no wonder it's been hit. Probably put some money in there. Um, CAD CHF is not in any open trades. AUD USD. All right, we are in a buy four. We are not in a trade. AUD USD. We will enter after Wednesday on Gear Five, so we are pretty close to an entry on AUD USD on swing settings here, but we did not take that entry yet. USD CHF is in an open sell trade, as you can see right here. Coming along, Euro GBP has still not taken a trade. We haven't really seen a trade out of Euro GBP uh, ever. Maybe the entry settings need to be lower and not the same as all the other GBP pairs. Taking a look here at NZDCHF, we are not in a trade. We did not take a trade this week on this account. NZDJPY, we also did not take a trade on this account. Nothing in that one. All right, AUDCAD, we are in a buy three. No actual real ghost or no trades, just ghost server trades on AUDCAD. Euro NZD, we are in open trades, and we are crushing it. Um, we have made uh, a good amount of money already so far this month. We're up twenty-three dollars on a on a little, uh, you know. Well, now it's a seven hundred dollar count, and we're owning more open trades. So Euro NZD is crushing it for us today, and this week on many accounts, uh, I've seen Euro NZD pumping profits. Euro CHF, we have got no trades on and we aren't even in any high ghost trade servers. 
EuroCAD this week. Look at that. EuroCAD pumped out 7% on the week. Even though EuroCAD is a worse performer, it hit some stop losses on this account. And, you know, at one point we took, uh, took some losses. So... Continuing on, EuroJPY, we can see took no trades this week. There is nothing going on here from um, EuroJPY. We're going to continue to work our way through here. Go into the next one. All right, we can see that we have a Euro USD buy in right now. All right, we're going to continue on looking at Euro AUD here. We can see Euro AUD has not taken any trades this week. We are close to it. Actually, don't enter a sell here until let's take a peek. Looking here, we're not going to get into a sell until gear seven after Wednesday. So a little more than halfway there, but we're not going to be taking a trade here. Keep going here to the next ones. All right, USD JPY, we have no open trades as you guys can see. That's 100K demo, ignore that one. All right. Here we have AUDCHF with no open trades on the week. Um, ghost trades are both pretty level at zero and zero, meaning that there's not much action happening over here. Getting into AUDJPY, we are on a buy four in the ghost server. We have not entered a real trade yet, um, but on AUDJPY, let's take a look at our entry settings here. we would enter a five. So right now AUDJPY is preparing for a potential opportunity to enter a buy. Uh, if the market continues to go further against us down, we will be very close. The next entry would deploy a real trade in the real market. All right, that's not the account we want. All right, here is our 10K swing account. Um, our classic standing live 10k account here uh, you can see is in some open trades we do have NZD CHF Euro JPY and AUD NZD all open trades right now continuing on GBP AUD we can see has been gotten gotten very close to actually entering a trade um, we are on a, a sell five right now and uh, for those of you who know, GBP AUD is one of those more volatile pairs. So our entry settings are actually deployed for six. So uh, right now, if GBP AUD the rest of the day continues to go up, we have the potential to enter a sell here on GBP AUD. Taking a look at GBP NZD, we are on a sell six and GBP NZD just, I believe, has one higher entry. Uh, yep, we are waiting on a seven here on GBP NZD. So both GBP NZD and GBP AUD are very near an opportunity. And looking at these charts because of that, I would tell you that I possibly would take a manual trade if these, these swung as well, not on my Gearbox account, Right, but on a separate account, I would I would most likely be very open to manually taking one of these trades uh, in a cell if Gearbox does decide to deploy a real market entry um, on a gear seven on GBP NZD and on a gear six on GBP AUD. Going to GBP CAD, you can see we did not get an entry yet, but again we're on a cell four getting a little closer to where we would take an entry on a GBP pair. GBP USD as well as on a buy four 
It's not there yet, but it's getting closer. You can see all the GBP pairs. We had some volatility this week. We've been getting very near an entry on the GBP pairs. GBP JPY, on the other hand, no entry. Um, granted, we are on a cell zero. Keep coming along here. We have NZD USD. We are not in any open trades on, as you can see here. Um, we are on a buy four which should be very much where you know we're looking to get entries here uh it's going to enter on five after wednesday so we are very near an entry on nzd usd in the current moment as well so many pairs are very near their uh after wednesday entries um usd cad as we can see we are in open trades we are in profit um and we are swinging here um, we are in a little over one and a half percent profit and playing out this uh, USD CAD seller right here. And I believe that is all of our main VPSs. And now we're in the million dollar accounts here. Um, this is our conservative million dollar account. It's up 1.2% on the week, it's in about 0.4% uh, drawdown. Uh, running all the pairs we have our moderate which is running the four hour time frame here and is in uh, about four and a half percent drawdown and up 2.8 percent but again the four hour time frame is always riskier as we've talked about as it's more likely to hedge and play both sides of the market so you can see the difference in drawdown between the four hour and the daily the daily is always going to play a much more precise move which is why the um, daily is in 10 percent of the drawdown 10% of the drawdown, not in 10% drawdown, in 0.4% drawdown, but it's in 10% of the drawdown that the moderate account is in right now on a four hour with um, very similar settings, just a little bit higher lot size in the four hour as well. And then we have our ultra conservative account, um, which is currently only playing a USD CAD cell and Euro NZD cell. Um, and this one's on sniper, not swing. So that's why it's ultra conservative and with a much lower lot size. Um, and those are the accounts. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna read our comments and we're gonna keep talking about Gearbox. Awesome. Uh, I'm not sure. No, no I, okay, good. I'm seeing questions. Let me go through these questions here. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, NZD CAD, someone said it is in larger DD for them. Been in for a month, very little movement. Yeah, when that happens with NZD CAD or any pair, you know, it's just consolidation. Sometimes it's gonna take you some time to get where you want to go. Um, Jan Hartman, I see max number of gears 12 on your pairs. No, I'm not. So, so Jan, max number of gears 12 is only on GBP pairs and pairs that have higher entries. All the other pairs, I'll show you. I'll give you an example. Let's go back to a managed account. All right, if we go to CAD JPY here, it's gonna have max number of gears is eight. Right, and right there, max number of gears eight. That's pre-programmed on all the lower pairs. But then you go to a more volatile pair that doesn't enter until like a six or a seven, such as let's say um, GBP USD, and the GBP pairs have max levels 12 right there but all the others are set at eight only the ones that have higher entries have higher gears because they don't even get in until a later gear and they need some more gears to be able to enter to, to uh, get you out of a trade if it continues to go against you um, but all other pairs are at max gears eight um, so you know that's all programmed into the manager the manager will do that for you when you select your strategy the only time i increase my max gears from eight on a normal currency pair is if eight is deployed and I need nine to deploy. And if eight's deployed, you'll see level seven is the common. Level seven is eight because zero is one. Da, da, da. Is there any way to post the current pairs in their status best versus normal here somewhere similar to the people for a plan? Um, the, the pin note is still the most accurate note, Kaluma. Um, Kalumela, yeah, Kalumela. Um, that's still very accurate. Um, you know, whenever we make changes to entries, 
We'll update them. Um, yes, Gearbox does use a moving average to decide when to enter trades as well. That is a part of it as well. Now that is modifiable. I've never touched it. I leave it at 20, Sam. Um, some users have lowered it that are big on hedging and you know scalping and different things like that, but and use Gearbox differently. But for me, in the three years I've used this algorithm, I have never touched that moving average setting once just to put it in perspective um but that would be how we're doing for the week so with that being said uh let me talk about the week ahead how we're looking and let's get right into it uh do forex factory right here awesome so um let's refresh this All right. So going into it, first thing Monday, we have some AUD red folder news. Tuesday, we have some Canadian red folder news, some USD red folder news, and some NZD red folder news. Wednesday, all day, we have OPEC JMMC meetings. This is a big one here. Going into Thursday, we have GBP. We have Euro red folders. And Friday, we have NFP and Canadian red folder. So we have a big red folder news week. Knowing that, this is one of those weeks you probably want to be on the conservative, maybe run the normal conservative settings if you're a riskier person or if you are a conservative user, maybe be more conservative, right? Depends on your risk management strategies and um, what your risk tolerance is. But in looking at all of this, uh, there's a lot of red folder news. Gearbox precision modes love red folder news. Um, you know, so this can play in our favor, but definitely, as always, you want to be on the more conservative end of the track when you have some um, major news events and things that can potentially move the markets. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to be on the more conservative side of the track this week, and uh, I would maybe find that as well. Uh, where can I find my FX book links to GB accounts? Jan, great question. If you aren't in the AB Legacy Facebook page, I would get in there and go to the search bar and type in Gearbox and you'll find tons of my FX books from developers, customers, all over the place. Um, so definitely AP Legacy page has tons of my FX books being shared by our customers, developer, um, all over. So definitely get in the AP Legacy Facebook page if you are not in there, Jan. Uh, a lot of amazing stories and testimonials in there and my FX book results. But with that being said, I hope you all have a, uh, a wonderful rest of your Friday. Thank you so much for tuning in with me on the Gearbox Precision Call. I look forward to another amazing week ahead and lots of updates and things we're working on behind the scenes on Gearbox to continue to enhance this product and make it better and better with give you more user control, more potential profit with decreased risk. That's always our goal. Decrease risk, increase profit. Decrease risk, increase profit, right? So that's what we're doing in 2022, and I look forward to having you on the winning side of these trades with us. So with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Friday wherever you may be in the world. And uh, if you haven't yet, plan to tune into the Miami event tomorrow. We have some amazing news in store, updates, enhancements, changes, a lot of amazing stuff coming to Avoria Prime in 2022 here, and it all starts tomorrow with our Miami event. So if you can get to Miami, get to Miami. If you can't be in Miami, make sure you're on the live stream. And uh, with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Friday, and I look forward to hopefully seeing many of you tomorrow in person in Miami. Have a wonderful day, everybody. There is a substantial risk of loss associated with trading Forex, binary options, stocks, or equities, collectively, asset classes. Only risk capital should be used for trading. Trading in any asset classes is not appropriate for everyone. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. No representation is being made that investors will make profits or will not sustain losses. Before trading in any asset classes, investors should consult with their professional broker, financial advisor, or financial consultant to determine whether trading asset classes is appropriate. Investors who trade in any asset classes should only do so if the capital used for this purpose represents funds that an investor can afford to lose without adversely impacting the investor's lifestyle. No trading strategy or methodology is without risk of loss. No trading strategy is risk-free and no trading strategy can guarantee profits or freedom from losses. Investors risk losing the cost to execute any transaction, including associated commissions or fees. You should carefully consider whether trading in any asset class is appropriate for you in light of your investment experience and financial resources.
Any trading decisions you make are solely your responsibility and at your own risk. None of the statements or materials in the Ovoria Prime chat rooms constitute a solicitation or recommendation to buy or sell. Thank you.